Hi guys. So I thought I would do a quick um, Karen at home video. Um, I have an issue going on with my honeysuckle, which um, honestly I thought in the beginning that maybe it was because I was a little heavy handed um, with my triple phosphate um, this fall and uh, do as I say, not as I do. Um, I got a little overzealous with some of my stuff and it will um, burn your flower buds as they come out. The phosphate encourages blooming. Um, and so if you use too much, you can burn them um, and sometimes get um, some deformed buds uh, or they start to come out and then they turn black and they fall off or fall down. Um, so I thought that's what was going on. Um, but on my daily walk through the garden today, I really like inspected and realized that I have a pretty serious aphid problem going on um, with my honeysuckle. So I'm going to be spraying it with some neem oil. Um, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what um, I'm talking about as far as the, um, you know, um, deformity on the bud itself and what really drew uh, my attention. And then while I'm standing here, um, I notice on the mulch below, I have um, some, it's a, it's a um, fungus <clears throat> that grows on mulch. It's called dog vomit fungus. Um, it is completely harmless. Um, it goes away on its own or you can shovel it and, and throw it into the woods or wherever. Um, it's just a normal breakdown of the mulch and it's really unsightly. Uh, mine's a couple days old, um, so yours might be different. It might look a little yellow um, or sometimes a bright orange. It's really interesting, but um, that's what it's called, dog vomit, dog vomit fungus on your mulch. It won't harm your plants. It doesn't hurt anybody. It just grows and then disappears, especially when we have wet springs like we've had, thank God, because everything's doing really well. Um, but anyway, I want to show you guys the deformity on the buds of my honeysuckle and show you the aphids. Um, I am going to be spraying it with a neem oil. Um, that's usually your first offense. It is a um, truly organic uh, option for uh, any of your soft bodied insects. So uh, aphids or spider mites. Um, sometimes it'll work for your mealybugs if they're at their early stages before they've created the white fuzz over top. Um, so neem oil, it is always your first defense. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll kick it up a notch and use something else. But um, I wanted to show you guys my <laughs> wonderful crop of aphids on my honeysuckle. All right, so as you can see, it's a totally different color and the leaves are um, kind of I don't know, crumpled or, I don't know, deformed. Um, so that's what caught my eye first, uh, really early on. And like I said, when I first saw it, I thought that um, maybe it was uh, the triple phosphate. Um, and then this morning I really like looked close and I was like, ah, that makes sense. Um, as the aphids are sucking insects. So as they're sucking before um, those leaves open or the buds open, um, it makes them deform. Um, so I'm hoping I'm catching this early enough. I do still have some uh, that are doing really well. Looks like um, they opened without being uh, damaged by too much by the aphids. So my uh, hummingbirds have already been over here checking every everything out because they love this. Um, I want to get up close on some of these aphids um, so you can see. See how that flower bud is kind of hanging down uh, and the leaves around it um, are kind of deformed. Um, so. Let me see if I can get in close. It's hard to tell from my camera if I'm focusing in on that, but you can kind of see I'm moving there. If I can keep my hand steady enough. So those are aphids. Um, they're creepy and they're yucky and they're gross, but they're one of the easiest um, insects to get rid of. And I'm really hoping that the neem oil will work so I don't have to use something stronger because I really... I hate doing that, um, but we'll see, and I'll keep you posted on that whether it worked or not. Um, the dog vomit uh, fungus, actually I see another one uh, in my mulch. I wanted to show you that, because that's super cool. So at the base, that right there <laughs> is my dog vomit fungus. Um, like I said, it's unsightly. It's kind of at its dry stage right now. And uh, those are all the spores in there, but it just grows on the mulch and it's pretty easy to dispose of. I'm just gonna flip it around. Um, so that's that. So if you guys see that in your mulch, um, it's nothing to be concerned about. Like I said, grab a shovel and flip it over or throw it in the woods or whatever. Um, it will not hurt anything um, and usually goes away on its own once everything dries out. 
So anyway, I'm glad I touched base with you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope your gardening is going well. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, I am a little more available at this point than I was a couple weeks ago. And um, wish me luck on my aphids. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.